you know the famous names, the familiar faces, the moments that have run through one of sports' greatest rivalries, the long celebrated images of Texas and Oklahoma, of Oklahoma and Texas. Which comes first? It matters far less than who's on top in the end. A great divide, crimson and cream, and a sea of burnt orange. A tradition that stands on two of college football's foundational pillars, passion and pageantry. A red river runs through them. A golden hat sits atop them. Every fall, they stand opposite each other. Even taller, even bigger, always more, never less. 100 plus years of conflict rumbling from within. Welcome to ESPN College Football, presented by PlayStation View. From the historic Cotton Bowl here in Dallas, Texas, number 12, Oklahoma. A chance to prove themselves as still in the playoff chase, the 112th all-time meeting with the much improved and confident Texas Longhorns. And for the first time in over half a century, two new head coaches in this game as Baker Mayfield and the Sooners make their way out to this field. Of course, Lincoln Riley is the new man in charge of this mighty power program. And at 34 years old, the youngest head coach in major college football. As here come the Sooners. to show off that dynamic offense today against their rivals in this great American classic. So happy you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Todd Blackledge. We'll check in with Holly Rowe in just a moment. You make up the short list of great American rivalries, and this game is always on. And of course, college football fills up that list. But considering the setting, only a select few rivalries offer up what this does, Tom. It's so unique. There's only three games like it. This one, Florida, Georgia, and Jacksonville, and the Army-Navy game. Unique because it's an intense rivalry, but it's in a bowl game setting of a neutral site where the tickets are evenly split. So the electricity in this place is always high because one fan base is always happy with what's happening on the field. We're sitting right on top of that great divide here, up high on the 50-yard line with the crimson and cream on one side and the burnt orange on the other side. As one half of this fan base will stop cheering for a moment and the other will soon be roaring. The Longhorns, three wins into their season and coming off a good solid victory against Kansas State in overtime. Tom Herman, the new man in town in Austin, the head coach who's bringing his Longhorns out there for the first time since he was a grad assistant 17 years ago. The Heisman hopeful, Baker Mayfield will be in action. They first played back in 1900, a tradition rich old school feel with new age excitement when we return. So 38 career starts, 31 of them at OU with 26 wins for Baker Mayfield from Austin, Texas. How do you think that went over back in middle school, Blackledge? You know what? He's been that kind of guy his whole career. Plays the position with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. People have told him he's too short, he didn't fit in, he wasn't good enough, and all he's done is finish as a finalist for the Heisman Trophy the last two years and playing his best football of his career right now. Incredibly efficient throwing the football through the first part of the season. Completing over 70% of his passes and zero interceptions. Start on the ground here with Trey Sermon, who's able to find a seam on that left side. Better than they did a year ago. 
Second and three, Sermon again, and that will move the chains, a gain of four. He said we all have to do our job and just continue to correct the little things. Still so much opportunity ahead. Second down run, again Sermon with a chunk play. Hunts back and gets an extra six yards. 20-yard run by Sermon. Same play. It's a counter play where they're going to pull the backside guard and tackle to lead out in front of this play. And Sermon has done a nice, nice job of being patient, reading the blocks. That time got inside the block of Ben Powers. Play action. Mayfield. He's going to launch it downfield. Wants every bit of it. And into the hands of Jeff Badette. Sooners score it. Here's Ellinger coming around, and he is stripped. It's the guy we talked about, Okoronkwo. They had him single blocked by Denzel Okafor, the left tackle. And it was to the blind side of the quarterback. The first third down, he was on the front side of the quarterback. This time he comes from the blind side. The arm was coming forward, but I'm not so sure that ball didn't come out first. Texas jumped on it. Play. So the punt team will be out there. Mark Andrews, the guy you got to look for here on third down, in the slot to the top. Mayfield, downfield, and gets it complete. And indeed, that is Mark Andrews fighting and wrestling for extra yardage, a 22-yard reception. Well, he's a big target, and Baker has a lot of confidence in him. And he's going to throw this right over the fingertips of Nashawn Hughes. Hughes not able to get a deflection on the football, and Andrews able to corral it for the first down catch. Coming into the game, Texas one of the best in the country on third down defense. Couldn't get a stop there. Trey Sermon able to keep his balance. Sermon getting extended playing time because of an injury elsewhere, Holly. 220 pounds, runs with really good pad level. Second and one, trying to shake free, and somehow he does for another first down. Trey Sermon. Got to wrap up. Eighth play of the drive, third and eight. Empty look here. Texas showing three man. They bring pressure. Mayfield gets it away and gets it complete to Andrews. Ball came loose at the end there. Two of four on the season so far. And especially that name Connor Williams being on that place. They're all America left tackle. Here's Ellinger again as they're committing a little bit to the quarterback run here on this series. Not much there, just a yard. It'll be third and four. See if they chip with a back on that side. Third and four. Ellinger does have time. Now being chased. And just had to throw it away. As it was Kenneth Mann, the first to get after him, and then Okoronkwo closing in. Well, they did do a nice the job. was out of the pocket and threw the ball beyond the neutral zone. No intentional grounding. Fourth down. They doubled on Okoronkwo. They single blocked on the other side. And DJ Ward, I think, was the first guy to kind of force him out of the pocket. Under shallow route, this is Brown, and he gets free and spins his way all the way out to the 30-yard line. Mayfield over the middle again, wide open is C.D. Lamb. And he is inside the 30-yard line, and just like that, Boomer Sooner downfield, 44 yards. Well, here's Lamb. He's going to go in, and they're going to go out, and there's going to be a big opening in the middle of the field. And again, Baker Mayfield is going to see this and get the ball down. And quickly to Lamb again as he is forced out after a nine-yard reception. After the timeout. Well, Oklahoma not under the center very often. This could be a quarterback sneak. No, nope, they're going to go with a direct snap. 
fourth and less than a yard. Here's Flowers, fourth and one. Up and over for a first down. It's a counter play that's been so good to him here in the first half. Watch him start to his right and then follow the pulling guard, Samia. Mason Ools with the tackle, but Flowers easily converts the first down. Second and 11. Sermon splits out. Anderson on the carry, cuts back inside the five, reaching for the end zone and in. 15 yard touchdown run. Warren remains the back here. Pressure coming in on Ellinger as he goes down. That was Bledsoe getting to him. Bledsoe does a nice job of just kind of following the movement of the lineman. Here he is right here. He's just following the movement of the lineman and then goes directly to the quarterback. And I think it just kind of surprised Ellinger. He didn't hit him very hard, but I think he surprised him. No man's land puts him in a fourth and eight. Colin Johnson, the big receivers down here at the bottom, working on Jordan Thomas. Ellinger trying to escape. Throws it low and incomplete. Desperate to get it to Colin Johnson. Okoronkwo was coming after Ellinger. Well, this is, this is just poor protection because there was only three guys rushing for Oklahoma. They've got to be able to give their quarterback a little bit more time. Okoronkwo is one of three rushers, and he ripped right through there and forced Ellinger to leave the pocket, and then he didn't make an accurate throw. If you have five blockers and three rushers, you're supposed to win that battle. So Seibert, who does all three of the kicking duties, on to punt for the Sooners as he drives this ball inside the five, and it's going to settle in there. Great coverage downfield that time. Jordan Thomas pinning Texas. I think Lincoln is going to cut Baker Mayfield loose on this possession. There's 540 left in the half. They get the ball to start the third quarter. Trick play. play. Trey Sermon downfield. Wide open is Brown. Cutting back. Sooners on the go again. That's Gerard Hurd motioning out, former quarterback, do-it-all kind of guy for Texas. Cat blitz, corner coming off the edge at Ellinger, able to get rid of it to the end zone. And that is incomplete. But he had heat coming in after him, didn't he? Usually you see that blitz to the short side. This was coming from the field, and Ellinger never saw it coming. He's able to get the ball off in time that could have been a hit up around the head and neck head and neck area as well parnell motley was the guy that that came on the blitz and hit ellinger up around the head straight up the middle escapes it tucks runs mayfield chunk play slides down at the 41. Anderson, good hole, pass midfield, Rodney Anderson. And that's been something they've been really good at. Mayfield, a little pump, backs out, and then gets it to the near side to Meade, who tries to tiptoe the sideline. He stepped out of bounds, but Baker Mayfield just doing a beautiful job eluding pressure. They, they, they stopped themselves. Baker right back to business, C.D. Lamb. Now they're showing a three-man rush. Sermon lowers the shoulder and will have the first down on third and 12. So a 13-yard run on third and 12. And this time weaving his way through again and giving a little something extra to that Texas defense. 11 more yards for Sermon. Third down package defense in and they ran it. Sermon gets the first down and a little more down to the 16 yard line for the Sooners. Because of the injury to Abdul Adams. Now we've seen Rodney Anderson as well. Cyber. 
as his day stays perfect. And big Puna Ford makes his way onto the field for second and eight. Here's Mayfield. Gets away. Runs and should have a first down. Time and time again, Mayfield somehow survives. You just don't know how he does it. It's like he's got eyes in the back of his head. He knows where the pressure's coming from. And he's just a hard guy to get onto the ground. And that'll change here. As Trey Sermon will give them the first down. Sermon and Anderson in the backfield. As he will get it quickly to Sermon, trying to pick up a block. Met. And then finally brought down by Locke and Boyd, but it takes every one of those Texas burnt orange defenders to get to Sermon. This kid is physical now, 220 pounds. And you better bring a load if you want to get this guy on the ground. And you better wrap up when you get there as well. Carter met by Gallimore. Now the Oklahoma defense trying to rise up. Ellinger trying to shake free, but Lampkin right on top of him. <laughs> Pretty good agility by the 335 pounder. Punt return in the opening game against Maryland. Very dangerous. Turning this ball over. Well struck by Cyber. All the way back is Hemphill. Going up to retreating inside the 30. Wow, he set up cover. shop at midfield. He ended up with coverage, getting him at the 29. Six foot six, big target. Can't get him the ball. Ellinger. Chase Downs got to get rid of it and incomplete. Caleb Kelly is the guy who brought the pressure. Looped all the way around. Caleb Kelly lined up as an inside linebacker. He's right here, and he's going to loop all the way around. He's all beyond the neutral zone. No intentional grounding. 10 25 to play here. Just a six point margin in the Red River rivalry. Ellinger, maybe a yard there. Mayfield and Sermon both shaken up in this game, both back out there. Some pressure right up the middle from Jefferson, and a quick catch to Mark Andrews. He's the ultimate gamer, as confident as could be. But with that upset loss last week, it is do or die now for playoff hopes for Oklahoma, and a good run from Rodney Anderson. Unranked Texas up a point on 12th-ranked Oklahoma. Here's Mayfield, Heisman hopeful, wide open and complete, Mark Andrews, Baker Mayfield does it, 59 yards to Andrews. Lots of confusion in the back end of that Texas secondary. Brandon Jones, who has made some big-time plays that time, has that deer-in-the-headlights look on that play. We're going to have a combination route, and Andrews is going to go out to the outside. The guy who is going to get in a bind is that safety right there. Watch Brandon Jones go with the inside route and let go of Mark Jones on the outside, or Mark Andrews, and an easy touchdown and read by Baker Mayfield. Rochelle again. Sack nearly lost yeah. the ball as DJ Ward was crashing in on him. And Tom Herman wants to call a timeout. Had a lot of momentum, a lot of forward progress Texas with their offense. And a nice big play by DJ Ward. Working on the left tackle, knocks that arm away, and almost knocked the ball out of Shane Bouchelle's arms as well. So if you can't get the football all the way to the end zone, do you have some kind of a trick play? with a lateral or multiple laterals involved as an alternative. Well, let's find out. 
Let it begin as Warren throws it back. Ball is on the ground. Picked up. Sent back to Ellinger. Ellinger gets it over. And now Humphrey trying to shake loose. As they are going to rule this down at the 48. And it's all about Boomer Sooner. And another memorable one. Rarely disappoints. And Texas just looks and feels a little different. But what a great bounce back for Lincoln Riley, Baker Mayfield, and the Sooners. Let's go to the field, the Hobby Road. Well, Baker, there was a moment in this game. You're on the bench, surrounded by medical staff. Not sure if you can play. What happened next that allowed you to get back in the game and lead your team to a win? Um, you know. Football is a, a violent game. Stuff happens. You get bumps and bruises every once in a while. But you, know, you, you think about this is my last one, so it, it kind of settled in right there. And, uh, and you're gonna have to do a lot more. You know, take me out of that one. You did have to do more. Texas came down and took the lead. You come right back out. A 59-yard pass to your big tight end. Yeah. Tell me through about that play. Oh, um, you know, we're going to that drive. You know, we're down. We need to score. Uh, it's just a. It's not about what happens with them. We, we got to go do our job. And so, Coach Riley had a great play call, had great protection. Mark ran a great route, and we just executed. Thank you, Baker. Thank you. 300 yard passing day, two touchdowns, including the clutch one in the fourth quarter. Oklahoma wins the Red River rivalry. Now, let's get you to Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreet in Tuscaloosa for Arkansas and number one, Alabama.